Um, what I'd like to work on a little bit is when I think about picking up the viola, <clears throat> I just think about resonance. You know, just <laughs> just getting that string. And so I thought maybe we could experiment with, with some ways to get your sound to be a little bit fuller and richer, um, to get a little bit more range in your sound when you play. So let me just see what happens if I just ask you to play an open G an open G string. Okay. Right, so the first thing I want you to do is just we'll just observe the string and I want you to try playing over the fingerboard. Just play some elbows. Are related to each other. 
they're the same thing. So can you hang your arm in my hand? That's great. So I feel all that weight. Now that, just keep it hanging there. Oh, I'm very strong, I can hold it there. <laughs> so you want that weight to sit in your viola. Right, so now as soon as you set the viola, there you go. So what happened was the minute you did that, your arm went up a little bit and you did it hang into it. And this takes a long time to figure out. So just hang that, and it's related to this. That's great, so lift them together and drop them together. Right, so now try this. So set your bow at your middle, and then just go, ah, right. So you want to feel that that's a happy thing, that weight. Now just do, let's go to the D string for now, and do the same thing. Just feel the arm is sitting on the string, and feel the string work. like that, good. And take your head off, and just do a martelet like this. So when we're at the upper half, the upper half of the, the upper arm is on vacation. So just set your bow at the tip and do this again. Take your head off. There's nothing tight there. Now just close your gate and go back to the middle. That's right. And I'm going to just put this hand back up over here because you'll be able to last longer. <laughs> That's it. I know it's kind of boring, but actually it's going to be so good, I promise. Okay, so open your uh, forearm one more time. Good. And just relax those muscles. There. And back to the middle. Right. And just keep this relaxed. Yeah, just relax. Good. I'll help you hold your instrument. And then go back to the middle. And just don't use from here. Just let those relax. Just good. So when you're at the tip, your power, you've got point here and you've got here. This is all loose. our whole arm, but our shoulder stays down. We come across to the frog, but the shoulder stays down. So I'm not really raising this way. It's, your elbow will come up a little, but that's it's going to cross the instrument. Like that. So let's just try that. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to... Your fingers are very flexible when I do that. So I know somewhere, somebody's worked on that in their life. <laughs> So, I'm hearing laughs from the <laughs> teaching community. <laughs> so I can tell right away that, that, that you have it in there. Okay? I mean, I could tell if you've never felt that before, I could tell right away, and I can tell you have it in there. And so you're old enough, frankly, that you can work on that on your own now. So now we're going to go across. Right. You're going to relax those fingers. And I can tell this has been done with you. That's a good thing. Now hang your arm. And when you pull a down bow, your power is coming from your upper arm and your back muscles, and it's a pull. It's not a press. Okay, so right now you're kind of pressing the frog. We want to kind of change that to a pull. And this isn't going to happen overnight. Okay, so set like there. It's a balance. You may feel uncomfortable with that. Does that feel okay? Yeah. You feel like you're going to lose it or anything? Lose your I did for a second, but I think it so your fingers are balancing. Can you soften your thumb? Just kind of walk. That's it. So this is just a balance. It's not like we're holding the bow. We're just letting it sit there. Take your head off and just walk. Do this. And then pull it. That's a great sound. That's a great sound. So I know that you're tired from doing this. So take your arms down for a second. And when you, I'm going to suggest that you practice some open strings in your scales like this for a little while, where you do like a half bow martelet. Forearm, forearm, forearm. And at the frog, you wobble. And at the frog, you wobble. Could you just try that once?
here. This is you know, the last frontier is getting comfortable with the frog. Can you tap your first one? Great, that'll help you not grab. There's something in there. I can feel kind of going. <laughs> the fingers. If you go too far apart, it's like it will keep you from balancing. That feels great. Okay. okay. Now I'm just going to show you one other, two other little things to practice, then we'll try to put it in your piece a little bit. This is to get more comfortable with the frog. Two of my favorite ways to practice getting comfortable with the frog, which takes months and years. So don't feel frustrated if you don't get it in the next two minutes. Okay. <laughs> so I want you to play two more delays um, at the frog. And then do a pinky push up where you let your pinky go and push it back like that. So play two little more times. So start by point one. Good. There we go. Oops, that's okay. So we're going to go down. Up. Just relax. Yeah, so we'll try that. I'll do it too. natural sound. If you have no bow hold at all, you feel the weight of the stick by itself. You want to try that? It's very weird. <laughs> so hold, hold it here. Just like on the, like here. Right, I know, it feels really weird. Just try it. Yeah, that's it. Now go back and hold it here. It's a great exercise because basically we just want to let the bow sit and then not mess that up with our bow hold. <laughs> we want to just let it sit there. The minute we hold too hard, we're pressing our thumb up and our sound comes out. Okay? And I'll show the other example uh, with, with one of the other students. But let's just play the very open one now. I'm wondering if you can try, overdo it for now, drop on that down bow. So something in your upper arm and your back muscles, so don't go yet. Relax your arm, soften your ears, take a breath, and then pull. Thank you. 
You just play with the piano the first phrase. <laughs> This when you're conducting, your arm wants to go like that, and you know, being able to do an upbow without leaning so much from your shoulder. You know, that's sort of a physical, technical thing. So I would advise that you do part of your practice. You know, not the whole thing, or you'll go nuts. Um, part of your open string practice, part of your scale practice, just standing still and just trying to figure out how your arm works and where your balance is, and doing lots of wobbles and tapping and bow distribution and martelets to get in touch with that weight. And do that religiously every day for as long as you can mentally tolerate it, which might be three minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes out of every half hour. And then play, and you'll gradually, hopefully, start to find that. All right, so thank you. Thank you.